I'm a couch surfing host and ambassador, which means that I invite people from around the world to come and stay a night or longer with me. It's completely um, free of charge, of course. I've probably hosted around about 500 people from about 45 different countries. And I feel I don't need to travel the world so much because the world is coming to me. Mm -hmm. So that kind of suits me. I don't have to do much. Everybody else has to do the, the movement and I can just stay where I am, which is kind of suits my personality right now. Normally it's oh, two or three nights because um, Clara isn't the centre of the universe. Nice though it is and pleasant and there's some beautiful nature. I'm writing to a girl who's coming on Saturday and it's going to stay four nights. Um, sometimes they stay longer, sometimes they hire a car and sometimes I drive it for them and we go on trips around uh, the country. Um, other times um, people uh, stay here because they're looking for a job and they'll stay here while they find a job. They won't find a job in Clara but they stay here while they're looking for one somewhere else. Well, let me show you the room now. Uh, here we have. And, um, backpackers don't need anything really much luggage space, all their stuff is in their backpack and so they just... And uh, that's happened a few times, people have stayed a few months and we got to know each other quite well and become quite close friends and I still visit people in Dublin who stayed here for a few months and I go and visit them sometimes. There was a girl who came from Japan, the first time travelling and she knew that she didn't really want to go back to Japan, she didn't like the society there and so she had a working holiday visa so I took her to the Japanese restaurant in Dublin and they gave her a job and she stayed there uh, six months and she never got round to moving out of my place in Dublin because I didn't want her to go and, uh, and we, we enjoyed each other's company and we travelled a lot at weekends and we became very close friends and uh, it was probably more than a couch surfing but sometimes that happens, not planned but it, it does happen like that. You know? And um, she met a, a couch surfer in Belgium and they were living in a forest. They were kind of bohemian hippie types and she liked that lifestyle and she stayed there and they got married. Uh, they went back to Japan to get married actually. And then um, they come back and she's living in Belgium now, near the town of Genk in the forest, which I'll have to get around to going to sometime. I have a lot of time and I don't have a lot of money and this is a hobby which I can pursue without where I need where time is kind of important to spend with people but money is not really an issue uh, I, 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 it doesn't cost me anything to have someone being here so it's not it's, it's a suitable hobby for me I, I prefer couch surfing because I don't want there to be a money issue involved in that I don't want people to be paying I want them to be coming here because um, you know they want to meet me and it's not just about a place to stay and part of that is getting to know the host and spending time with the host and that's I think that's that's the, the, the major difference really it's about a cultural exchange more than a place to stay um, if you're with Airbnb you have the right to actually say well I want this place just to sleep in and I want to do my own thing or with my partner or friends and go out and do my own thing and that would be totally acceptable with an Airbnb host. I don't have any rules at all. I don't say anybody should do anything. I think people, I trust them to their common sense. <laughs> and people have got common sense. And people adapt very easily to, to, to the situation. And I, I, don't, I don't agree with all these having rules. Uh, couch surfing is going outside their usual comfort zone. I mean, a girl on her own wouldn't normally in the general run of life, go and stay with a guy she'd never met before in his house. <laughs> but the couch surfing, that's what you do. So you're going outside your comfort zone, which is actually a good thing, I think. And uh, like anything else, it's like jumping out of an aeroplane. You actually will uh, evaluate the risk first, won't you? You make sure your parachute is all right and you've got a good instructor and that everything is... And then you calculate the risk and you do it. And I think you should do the same with the couch surfing in the same way. Yeah, I'm very interested in people and where they come from and their country and what's happening in their country and that's a fascination for me. I never get tired of that so I'll always enjoy doing couch surfing. And um, I'm going to carry on doing it because I enjoy it and uh, people fascinate me. I like meeting people and I like spending time with them, especially travellers because I was a traveller myself for many years. But...